Hey guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is the Huawei Honor 10. If you have a look at the back and one of the selling points of the phone, it says it comes with an AI camera. Now what does AI camera mean? So the camera on this phone comes with loads of different options for some really cool features, which I'm gonna give you a run through right now. But I think it's one of the best things about this phone and you don't see this on many other phones. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to quickly run through some of the video options that come with the AI camera on the Honor 10. So it has aperture mode, which is a pro mode, portrait, photo, video. And this is the menu I'm going to be specifically focusing on, which is more. Now you can see it comes up with so many different options for the camera. And I'm going to give you some of the ones that are unconventional that you don't get in other phones. So let's start off with AR lens. Now what that does is adds on these little cool features onto your face. So I'm going to give a quick showcase of that so you can see some of these a bit like snapchat as well Instagram stories you also have backgrounds Probably not going to use this that much, but it's there as an additional feature. It would probably be useful for little kids, they would enjoy this kind of stuff. But nonetheless, there you have it. So I like the monochrome feature, it basically allows you to take pictures in black and white with different brightness levels. So this is normal. You have aperture, and then you have portrait. And it's pretty cool, it does a good job capturing the item in focus. Basically creates a trail of light if you keep the camera very still. So here's an example of me recording one now. So I'm gonna choose light graffiti and see how that comes out. Okay guys, so you select the light graffiti option and then using a light source such as a torch on a phone, you can start making the graffiti in the air and that should produce a picture once you've stopped recording. Right, now let's have a look at the 3D panorama. So I'm going to take a 3D panorama picture of Thanos here. Let's have a look, press the 3D button. It renders it and then I can now move it left and right like that. Pretty cool. You need to be really steady in your hands, make it really smooth, but nonetheless, it's an awesome little feature. So now let's have a look at watermark. So you take a picture and you can choose various different watermarks, dates, times, stamps, clocks, weather, that kind of stuff. You can add location, weather, mood, food, sport. So it's pretty good. You can move it around. You can't make it bigger, however, but it's good to take a picture. And that's watermark. Now let's have a look at document scan. So I have a document here. You can see it picked up the edges of a document. You should hold the phone really steady. Now if I view it, it's actually done a pretty good job. I can read the text. And then I can now probably email this as a file to anyone instead of using a scanner. Now let's have a look at 3D Creator.
Right, so it's created a uh, AR emoji much like the Samsung AR emojis. Now you have the option to dress this 3D animation thingy up. It's got a Chinese introduction. It opens up an external app called 3D Face. It is in Chinese, but uh, let's go ahead and see how it looks. So it's got my face. The head is usually bigger than uh, the actual body. But you can customize various parts of the body, the hair. Pretty laggy, it's not as smooth as I'd like it to be. You can put it facial expressions. I'll just leave it natural. And then what I like is that movements. So you can be waving, dancing. saying give this video a thumbs up and you can convert it to a GIF and download it and then send it to people and last but not least let's have a look at artist mode now this sort of adds like pretty cool filters onto your camera they're not the greatest but then again it's like a nice to have feature I don't see myself using that. I don't see other people really using that that much. But it's good to play around with if you want to take a little bit of a sketchy photo or if you want to cartoonize your pictures. So there you have it guys. These are a lot of the AI features on the Honor 10. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the review of all the AI features on this camera. Please do like the video and make sure you subscribe. I've got some really cool videos coming up and I will catch you guys next time.